the reality is confidence may be low, but when you look at the stats, and I always quote stats for the Office of National Statistics, the stats tell me that over the last three years, the trend has definitely been upwards. So is it really the fact that retail is in crisis, or as we like to think of it, retail is actually just evolving, and businesses who are evolving with retail are winning that battle and are making success? And we think the latter. We 100% think that there are opportunities out there and what we'd like to do in this session is invite up some people uh, from different businesses and sectors around the region and their local businesses who we think are doing great things and bucking the trend. I think um, bricks and mortar retail as we know it is not compelling enough um, to create a fantastic destination. It's not going to drive the footfall that we expect on those high streets and shopping centres. We need to create a bit of theatre, we need to drive a bit of hospitality, we need to collaborate and we need to do things differently. Okay, so first of all, we've got some amazing trusted brands in Touchwood. Two busiest restaurants in there, and Nando's and Wagamama's. Um, they're great restaurants. You go in there, you know what you're gonna get. It's consistent service, consistent quality food that you're gonna get. But they don't make people come to Touchwood. Why not? Because they're everywhere already. So what we wanted to do is we wanna change, we wanna be a little bit more unique. So being a hotelier from Birmingham, um, I started, I got my little black book out, ringing all some of my favorite restaurants, some of my favorite venues. We want you to come to Touchwood. We want you to be the point of difference for us. We want independent dining. We want a point of difference. We don't want a homogenous experience where it's the same wherever you go. So we had Ashes, possibly you know one of the most successful um, Indian restaurant chains within the UK. Solihull owned and independently run uh, in, in the area. Loved what they did in Birmingham. They're now doing that in Solihull. This is um, a, a restaurant that's you know, packed every night. Uh, and they're charging 17 quid a head for a, a, you know, a curry without, without the rice. You know, so um, because the quality, the service is there, they're a compelling destination in their own right. They're bringing new footfall in. And we gave a platform to a, a company called Jamea, who just a couple of nights ago won Solihull Startup Business of the Year. Um, again, they're bringing in their own demographic. They're bringing in new people into, into Touchwood and giving a new, independent, and fresh experience. Um, we've got uh, Nines, which is a, an independent uh, bowling centre and cocktail bar and restaurant opening in the new year. Uh, another independently owned business. So we, we want a, a real point of difference. There's, there's stories of lots of other businesses like that coming into Touchwood. Yakinori from Grand Central coming in as well. So we want that point of difference. Uh, not just that, but you know, we used to sp spend a lot of money on big signature events in the centre. You know, we're going to do a fashion show, a wedding show and uh, people will come down for those big events so that every time you come to Touchwood, something else is happening, something of interest, something exciting, so that you associate great experiences, special experiences with your family who are coming to Touchwood. Um, we're trying to bring the community into Touchwood as well. So we're giving, you know, Solihull, um, middle class town, celebrate a lot of Christian festivals in Solihull and do a good job with it. But actually what we've tried to do now is give a platform to other communities within, you know, I looked around Solihull Shopping Centre and the footfall in that shopping centre, the people walking through, didn't represent Solihull Street that I lived on. So we've given a, a platform to other communities to celebrate their festivals uh, and experiences with the rest of Solihull. Um, we club together with the Asian Business Chamber, Solihull Chamber, Solihull Bid, Touchwood, we all put some money in a pot together and we moved the Birmingham Thigh Garage uh, Festival out of a school hall and put it at the core theatre. There's an amazing initiative called Chatty Cafe that was launched in Solihull this week. Um, this is uh, an idea where every coffee shop in Solihull, we have a little table that says Chatty Cafe on it. And you know if you sit at that table, you want to have a chat with somebody else. There are over 4,000 pensioners in Solihull that would describe themselves as intensely lonely. And that's a terrible statistic. And we, along with the bid, with the Solihull Chamber, with the council, with the West Midlands Combined Authority, we want to change that with Age UK. People don't just come to touch with shopping centre, they come to Solihull as a destination. And for me, it will be very easy in my ivory tower of nearly fully let in a few months, or, or nearly fully let now, fully let in a few months, to say, we're all right, Jack. But actually, there is, there's more going on in Solihull that we need to help with. <laughs>